This tip is, tidying your variable names is a breeze with the clean names function from the janitor package. In this video series about the R language, I'm showing you how to iterate with custom functions. Along the way, I'm highlighting tips and tricks for tidying data. As always, see the video description below for a link to the code. The first two videos in this series demonstrated how to iterate over a vector and introduced the per map function for iteration. It's just a brief introduction, and we're going to dive deeper into the functions and iteration as the series progresses. In the last video in this series, we'll put it all together. I'll demonstrate using data wrangling tips with iteration and custom functions. In between, such as this video, I want to share some data wrangling tips and tricks. This tip is tidying your variable names is a breeze with the clean names function from the janitor package. So choosing the right name for something can be challenging. What works best in the tidyverse? According to the tidyverse style guide, variable names and function names should use only lowercase letters, numbers, and underscores. Let's look at an example. All right, so in this code, at line 106, you'll see that we're using the read TSV function that we used before. And if we view that data frame, you'll see that that's an example of the camel case. And you know that because it's using uppercase letters. But if we run that same data frame through the janitor clean names function, when we execute that bit of code, it'll by itself update the variable names, which makes them tidy names, so that you then have snake case, right? Spaces are separated by underscores, and it's all lowercase. In practice, I might use the clean names function on any data that I ingest and then save a copy of my wrangled data after I've cleaned it all up. In closing, check out the janitor package for its many useful data tidying functions.